is that song called? I think it's Don't Show Up. Is it Don't Show Up or Don't Come Up? It's one of the two. Now I'm like, here we go. Don't, what is it? Don't Start Now. Ah, that's the one. Don't Start Now. You got it. That's what it was. We'll set up. Let me pull that up here. Yeah, don't stop. Okay, perfect. We got a couple minutes, yeah, so we'll be in good shape. Um, that's cool, man. Uh, so things been busy for you guys. It looks like you're you're hiring across the board. Hey, it's like we went from, you know, because we were on a hiring freeze over the summer, just with everything going on, and then we went from like zero recs to over thirty five open recs. Just my Utah recruiters are focusing on thirty five recs right now, so it's insane how much we're growing. Um, especially on our product and tech side, we're growing a ton. Um, but it's been good. I'd much rather have that than have no recs. So, That's yeah. That's stressful, man. Yeah, no. And uh, but 35 recs, I mean, usually when we were at, when I was at LinkedIn, um, we, we were like a busy uh, recruiter was doing like 20, 25 recs, 35 recs. Like that is, that's a lot per, are you looking to hire on the recruiting side too? To uh, Probably, I mean, potentially, you know, we will see what happens maybe down the road. Um, but we are just cranking through right now. So, well, that's yeah. great. It's good for everyone here on the call. Exactly. Yeah. Good. Do we know how many people registered? Yeah. So we had about 40 or 50 register. So it's usually, you know, anywhere from half to 75% of those that, that come through. So we'll probably, my guess is we'll probably have like 25 to 30 people in the, in the session. Makes sense. Okay. So that should be good. Well, cool. Um, it's about to start. So let me get this jam pump in and we'll jump into it. Awesome. Thanks Luke. You bet. Thank you. 
we'll cut it there. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the CHD Healthcare Information Session. We're fired up to be here with Daniel, and he is going to tell us all about CHG, the culture, uh, the open roles, and he's going to walk you through what it's like to work there. So, um, yeah, if you're just tuning in, a little note, go ahead and introduce yourself in the chat. Tell us where you're tuning in from, what roles you're interested in, and give me some feedback on our startup jam. Uh, do Lipa try to switch it up today. Um, that was actually a recommendation from Daniel. So if you don't like it, love some it up with Lipa. Him. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I'm, I'm a big fan as well. Um, well, cool. Uh, glad to be here. Daniel, we'll hand things over to you. Take it away. Awesome. Thanks, Luke. And thanks so much for having us. We're excited to be here. So um, like Luke mentioned, I'll jump in, talk all things CHG kind of run through our award-winning culture and then I'll finish you know just with a few other opportunities that we have available here and then really open it up to any Q&A so um, I'll share my screen and let me just make sure we can see this as well as um, video because there's a quick video um, so again, really just excited we're here. So just kind of a brief overview. So what I'll do today is, you know, just an introduction of myself. I'll introduce CHG. I'll talk about our culture, a few of our brands, and then we'll go through our um, openings as well. So like Luke mentioned, my name is Daniel Benavides. I'm a manager of talent acquisition here at CHG. I've been with CHG for about 18 months and I currently lead all of our digital product and technology and corporate hiring in our um, Utah and California markets uh, is primarily what I focus on. So I lead our team of, of technical recruiters, a couple of corporate recruiters um, to really drive a lot of our hiring initiatives here in uh, locally. So, so with that, I'll jump in, just kind of would love to share this two and a half minute video just about CHG and our culture and specifics, and then we'll, uh, we'll jump in. You know, a lot of people ask me about CHG's culture. At its core, culture is a set of beliefs and values that guide how we treat each other. Our number one core value is called putting people first, and it really defines how we try to create an environment where our employees thrive. We were able to retain 86% of our employees last year, which is the best in the healthcare industry. We're diverse enough to make sure that we are catering to the needs of all of our employees. And we listen to the feedback that they have, and we're continually trying to improve and incorporate that into our everyday business. So CHG really wants you to be comfortable in everything that you do here. So they really promote you to dress and embrace yourself and your personality. So if one person wants to wear a suit to work, so be it, be that person. But if you want to wear jeans and that's what makes you comfortable, you are more than welcome to do so here. We have a lot of really great on-site amenities. My favorite is the gym. It's really convenient. You can just come back to your desk and get to work feeling revitalized, energized. That really helps a lot for me. CHG gives all of their employees eight hours of volunteered time off. I've used it to go to the food shelters and pack up lunches for people. We've taken breaks from work to go and deliver those lunches to people, which was really fun. We have this saying where we hire for culture and we train for skill. You know, there's not very many positions around here that we can't train you how to do them. But what we can't train you how to do is to be compassionate, be able to connect emotionally with a customer or an employee. Those are things that we're looking for in the people that we hire to help us build our company. Well, I feel like the work that we do is really important here because we're bringing doctors to communities that don't have them currently. And you hear stories about providers who were changing their lives as well because they're getting to see different parts of the country. You know, if, if they're over in Washington and their family back home is having some issues or went through a flood, I mean, we're the first ones to send them supplies and make sure that they're taken care of. Not only are we putting people first here within the company, but we're making sure that we're taking care of those that we work with outside the company as well. I feel like this is an organization that I will work for for the rest of my life and I'd like to retire in. So I think if we can, again, replicate that for all the employees within our organization, people are gonna to wanna to stay.
Awesome. So yeah, that just gives a kind of a quick overview of, you know, CHG, what it's like in our culture. Um, and you'll hear a lot about, you know, it mentioned, you know, if you want to wear jeans, if you want to wear a suit, one of our biggest things that we always like to say is you're free to be me at CHG. So we welcome all walks of life and it's just a great place for everybody. So just a quick introduction of us. So one of the biggest things that we're, you know, we're not doctors, but we specialize in getting doctors to the right place. So we were founded in 1979 and we're actually headquartered in Midvale, Utah. Um, and back in 1979, we invented the locum tenens industry staffing model. So when you hear locum tenens, that's really just a fancy Latin phrase that means to hold the place of or to substitute for. So our biggest goal is we connect doctors with patients who need their care and we're the nation's largest um, physician staffing firm in the country and our providers actually treat millions of patients every single year. So like I mentioned, we have offices in Florida, or in Utah, we're headquartered in Utah, and then we have offices in Florida, Connecticut, Oklahoma, California, Michigan, and North Carolina, just to name a few. And then we're the parent, CHG is the parent company of a family of brands, Comp Health, Weatherby, Global Medical Staffing, RN Network, Foundation Medical Staffing, Modio Health, and Locum Smart. So just a few of those, you know, global medical staffing, that's our brand that focuses on placing providers globally. Um, and then a few of our other brands focus on placing those providers uh, internationally as well, or nationally, excuse me, not internationally. Um, and like it mentioned in that video, um, you know, really besides having a cool mission statement, we think it's important to walk the walk and talk the talk. And a lot of that is guided on our five core values. So putting people first, continuous improvement, integrity and ethics, quality and professionalism, and growth. And, you know, really while these values have helped us do a lot of great stuff in the past, we're not content to leave it at that. And we're always dreaming and doing and innovating to make the future even better um, for all of us. And like I mentioned at the beginning of our call, so I've been with CHG for about 18 months. And I can tell you, you know, that these core values we don't just put them on the wall and we talk about them at every single meeting. You know, these are driving every single decision that we're making every single day. Um, you know, putting people first, it's really been great to see how CHG has handled the, you know, the pandemic and, and really putting their money where their mouth is and, and, you know, driving a lot of our conversations forward. So just really great stuff from those core values. And I've seen them in action every single day. And as a leader, I'm making sure that I'm putting them into action as well for our people. So like I mentioned, another big piece of CHG is our award-winning culture. So those of you that are local here in Utah, I'm sure you've heard, you know, around the Valley. Um, those of you that are from out of state, welcome. Um, would love to just highlight our award-winning culture from that perspective. So we, we've been named um, one of Fortune Magazine's 100 best companies to work for over the last 11 years. And actually in 2020, we were awarded um, Glassdoor's best place to work um, from their employees choice category. So out of 100 companies on that list, we're at number 47 with an average Glassdoor rating currently of four and a half out of five, um, which is pretty great. So with, like it mentioned in the video, you know, our people first culture, you know, really empowers employees to grow personally, professionally, and really encourages them to take care of each other and the community where we work, where we place providers. So like I mentioned in the video, we offer our employees a variety of benefits, including on-site healthcare, um, subsidized humanitarian trips. You know, we've taken um, providers as well as our employees all throughout the world um, to help and do some of those humanitarian trips as well as volunteer time off, um, which I think is really great. When I started, I remember thinking like, oh, I could volunteer at the Humane Society. I could volunteer you know, at a school, you know, we've helped our talent acquisition team, for example, we've done um, resume building at schools. Um, I actually used it last year. I volunteered as a poll worker on election day. So that's what I use mine for, but it's really up to you to decide where you want to use it and CHG will pay you for it, which I think is pretty awesome. So um, throughout the organization, we have about 3,100 employees spread throughout the country. So like I mentioned with a variety of those offices and a majority of our uh, teams are within our sales or physician recruiters. So uh, on our current openings, we do have uh, inside sales and sales consultants open all throughout the country. So whether that be in Florida, North Carolina, here locally in Utah, Oklahoma, Michigan. And the biggest piece for them is that they are reaching out to healthcare providers, learning their career goals, understanding really kind of what they're looking for to match them with a healthcare, healthcare facility uh, that needs their services. Um, 
you know, we won't lie. It's, it's challenging work, especially in your first year as you're building your portfolio and getting things moving there. But as you build your network of providers, the job becomes easier. It's more rewarding. And then you can leave each day really feeling proud that you've helped make a difference in healthcare, especially right now, given the pandemic. So in addition to our sales footprint, we have a pretty large technology and digital footprint as well, um, where we are hiring 70 plus roles um, this year alone. Um, so a lot of growth. And, and one of the biggest things that we're looking at is we are the nation's largest um, physician recruiting and staffing firm, but how is it that we maintain that? How do we stay on top? So let's leverage and build technology to be able to get providers on the job faster. So whether that be we are using uh, leveraging technology to get them on the job faster, they're able to look at their job, they're able to track hours, um, we're able to credential them faster. Credentialing is a big part of the physician recruiting um, function. So credentialing, we're looking at everything from malpractice claims to making sure they're licensed where they need to be. So just making sure we're getting them there. And then a lot of the technology and things like that that we use. So we use modern um, JavaScript technology. So like Vue on the front end and Node on the back end. We're hosted within AWS um, and we're aligned and we run in Scrum teams currently on our digital side. So within that, you know, software engineering, we're looking for uh, data engineers, full stack JavaScript engineers. Um, we've posted a couple of architecture roles. Um, Estets. We have a couple of roles open in product management as well, product owners or business analysis. We're looking for user researchers and UX designers, uh, marketing web manager, and then like I mentioned, our inside sales and sales consultant roles as well. So that's kind of just a brief overview of CHG and what we've got going on. Um, and then our careers page. So this is just a highlight of a few roles that we've got open right now. But if you jump to CHG careers, you'll be able to look at you know, our blog to learn more about our culture. You'll be able to look at all of our openings, not only in Utah, but all throughout the country, if you want to jump there. Um, and then we recommend, you know, jumping on to Mentorly. I have a few jobs posted, so recommend applying there um, or replying directly onto our website as well. This is awesome, Daniel, and such a good overview of CHG and where you guys are at. What's so exciting is that you're you're literally growing across the board. And you, you said, um, is it 70 positions total or how many will you, uh, or is that just for like software engineering and product? Yeah, engineering? good question, Luke. So I mentioned those 70 positions. And so those 70 currently right now are just on our product and technology side. So that's a mix of that's a mix of engineering, that's a mix of business analysis, delivery managers, a um, couple of product roles as well. So that's what we're growing there. And then on our sales side, um, we'll hire probably between anywhere between about 30 to 40 across all of our brands every month uh, this year is what we're forecasting. So we are seeing tremendous growth. And I think a big piece of that is, especially as we're coming out of this pandemic, as the vaccine rolls out and we're seeing kind of a light at the end of the tunnel, people are gonna be comfortable going back to to see their providers and, and get those elective surgeries. So we're expecting a pretty large increase in our uh, business uh, just after all of this is kind of in our rear view mirror, if you will. So, yeah, totally. Um, wow. I'm, I'm fired up, man. This is awesome. Um, so, so yeah, so I, I guess um, to, to kick things off with a, with a little Q&A here, we've got a couple of questions coming in and if you're on the video, uh, go ahead and, uh, and get your questions rolling um, and, and I'm happy to ans uh, ask for Daniel there. Um, but um, just, just to kind of uh, to get things uh, kicked off, I guess my question is, oh no. Can you uh, hear me, Daniel? It looks like I'm... I can hear you, Luke, but I think you're frozen, but I can hear you. Okay, we'll just roll with it. I think okay. we're just catching up um, and we'll put things on charge here as well. But but yeah, I guess uh, the, the question is... Um, oh, there we go. Um, you're back now. Back. There you are. Hey. You're Technology. Right. Hey, there we go. The joy of working from home that we're all oh, accustomed man, to I this year. <laughs> just really, I was like, oh my goodness, I was going out. Yeah. Um, but uh, but yeah. So the question is, how how did you land your job at at CHG? What was the your path to coming to work for the company, and and what like what what drew you there? 
Yeah, absolutely. Great question, Luke. And one of the biggest things that I was looking for, you know, I was really strategic about where I wanted to go and where I wanted my next position to be. And CHG really ended up being that place because of their, you know, the culture, the people, the technology that we're building. And I really wanted to go somewhere where I was able to make an impact and almost immediately make an impact. And again, CHG has just been that place where you've been able to come in, obviously, you know, due time and all of those kind of things. We want to make sure people understand our culture and we're not coming in just to change things for the sake of changing things, but really kind of getting your foot wet and then being able to just change things for the better, whether that be technology, process, all of that kind of stuff. And that's one thing that I've loved just my past 18 months here at CHG is being able to do that. Well, it's kind of interesting because, I mean, usually that, that, that's the thing that people love about startups, but, but CHG is big. They've been around for a while and, and it sounds yeah. like they've been able to maintain a culture of of, uh, of change and, and uh, autonomy throughout all of that. Um, like, do, do you see that in other departments as well? I mean, you're on the recruiting side of things, but like, if we're looking at, like if somebody's looking at a product role or an sure. engineering role, like, is it, is, are you given some media responsibility right as you join? Absolutely. Yeah. And that's one of the biggest things that I think is really appealing about CHG is that, you know, we have the variety of these brands, like I mentioned, like our Locum Smart and Modio brands, they were startups, essentially. And then we yeah. um, brought them into the fold of CHG. So they have kind of that startup mentality, but they're backed by a billion dollar organization. Um, and our product and technology organization, it's relatively this journey is what I like to call it, this, this journey that we're going on about building our own technology, getting these providers on the job faster. It does have a startup mentality because it's relatively new for us. You know, we're really flexing this digital arm that we've had um, and building it over the last couple of years. And so being able to drive that and then do that, it's very much a startup uh, kind of feel. Wow. And, and, you know, I mean, I, I probably uh, folks on the call aren't really familiar with the staffing industry. I worked at LinkedIn before this and, and sure. I've been in staffing for a while. And, and, and typically, at least from my experience, like the, the staffing companies are small. They're, they're small, you know, a group of recruiters that, that go out and do, you know, physician recruiting or they do headhunting for nurses or, or whatever it may be. Um, but, uh, but, but what's, what's so awesome about, I mean, what they don't have, um, if you go and join one of those companies is, is that technology components. And, and what I love about CHG is, is that there's like, okay, you know, we're, we're staffing, we're, we're like, we're, we're doing that, but we're also adding in this technology component to accelerate what we're doing. And, and um, you become really dangerous when you have those two things. Exactly. Together. And that's, that's like I mentioned during my presentation, Luke, is, you know, we're the nation's largest physician staffing firm. And we want to make sure we stay on top. And so a big piece of that is that technology, we're building our own technology to get providers, get physicians on the job faster. So we're unstoppable at that point. Hey, I love it. That's yeah. awesome. Um, well, well, like I said, a couple of questions coming in here. Sure. Well, um, Whitney is asking, I know we're both based in Utah, but she, uh, and, uh, but she says, is CHG hiring for positions only in Utah or um, what, uh, or, or are you looking to, to fill in other states as well? And I know you kind of mentioned that when you were going through the roles, but if you can talk a little bit more in detail about it. Yeah, day. you bet. Absolutely. So like I mentioned um, during my presentation, so we do have uh, a majority of our roles open here in Utah. So I'm actually on our careers page right now. So we have about 21 of our open positions here in Utah, but then we are looking at, you know, I have some open in Florida, Oklahoma, Virginia, um, Michigan and North Carolina right now. And if though, and if you're not in one of those locations, you know, COVID has really kind of turned the people can work from anywhere. So we're yeah. open to, you know, visiting people that are wanting to work remotely. There are some teams that, you know, in full transparency are more open to it than others, but definitely worth having the conversation if you have the skill set that we're really looking for to join the team. That's awesome. But I think when, when I was looking through your, your website, the, um, the one role was in a couple roles were in Boca Raton. Is that right? That's right. Yep. I mean, how could you, how could you give up the opportunity to move to Florida and, and be in the um, That's right. And it's actually our, so we have an office in Boca Raton. That's where our RN network office is. And then our main Weatherby office is in Fort Lauderdale. And oh, it's yeah. probably, our Fort Lauderdale office is, it's right off the beach. It's on the 11th floor, 9th uh -huh. through 11th floor of an office building. And the views are spectacular. So I'm with you, Luke. Let's go. Oh, let's do it. Oh, yeah. my goodness. That's great. Um, okay. More questions coming in. Um, 
Let's see, we've got Elena tuning in from Provo. What's up, Elena? Good to have you here. Carol, um, are there ex expectations for eventual relocation for roles that seem to be based um, in Utah? Um, and maybe we just answered that, but um, if you want to talk to that a little bit, relocation. Yeah, good question. So really, and Lisa, fantastic question as far as relocation in our remote. I think it really, it depends on the team. You know, I've got some teams that are 100% on board with remote. I just met with a manager yesterday. And there are some that are kind of, you know, wanting to see really what 2021 shapes up for us. You know, how much longer are we going to be remote? What does that look like? Um, so I definitely, what I would recommend is apply if you're interested in a role, if you're not in Utah and it's worth a conversation with us. Absolutely. I'll get you in touch with one of our, uh, one of my recruiters. Boom. Carol, hope that helps. Yeah. Um, Lisa, what are some, uh, Lisa Hillier says, what are some of the problems or vision for growth that uh, CHG is looking for new talent to help solve in the new year and beyond? So, so maybe there's two questions there. Um, so like, what, what are some of the challenges that you've received? And then what's some of the vision for growth? Yeah. And I think a lot of our vision for growth, like I mentioned during my presentation, you know, 70 plus roles alone on our digital side, like that's where we're seeing a tremendous amount of growth. Because like Luke, you and I were just talking about, sure, we're the nation's largest, but how do we stay on top of the nation's largest? And that's our goal is, you know, building our own in-house technology for our providers to be able to, you know, use their cell phone to be able to tell like, okay, this is when my next, um, position starts, this is when my flight is, this is where I'm picking up my rental car, all of that information, all the way down to portals that our clients can use to pay invoices, look at who they have starting, um, all of those kind of things. So so that's a lot of our, our strategy and growth from that perspective. And I think a lot, probably some of the challenges, Lisa, just going back to your question, I think would be how fast we can do it you know, making sure that we've got the right people in place, we're hiring the right people to be able to drive a lot of that initiative and a lot of that conversation forward, that would probably be um, our biggest challenge right now is, is getting the right people on board and then being able to make sure they have the right skill set to, to, to then build these products and push them out to our customers. Love it. That's fantastic answer. Um, and then let's see, Kylie Soper asks, how would you suggest to prepare for an engineering role at CHG? Um, and maybe, I mean, it, just to kind of go a little bit deeper, like, can you talk to what that engineering um, hiring process looks like if they have to go through a coding test or um, yeah. something like that? And, and, uh, and then, you know, maybe expand a little bit past that and say, like, what, what, what are some of the things that they should uh, prepare for? Absolutely. Yeah. So like I mentioned, so we are all primarily a Java shop. Um, so note on the front uh, or note on the back end, excuse me, and then view uh, JS on the front end. Um, and what our process generally looks like if a candidate applies, uh, one of my technical recruiters will reach out, kind of have that introductory conversation, making sure you're comfortable with CHG, really kind of what you're looking for, you understand the role, all of those kind of things. We don't have a technical assessment right now. We're actually looking at building one. So depending on when you apply over the next three or four weeks, you may have a technical assessment. You may not. I actually am working on getting that implemented right now. Um, so but don't want a technical assessment. You got to apply right. Now. Yeah, if you, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so we'll get that moving. Um, but in addition to that, then you'll have a quick kind of whiteboarding session with a few of our hiring leaders, kind of you know doing some live code pairing, live code sharing, um, talking through some. Um, you know, why you've built things that way. And then another big piece of, you know, like Scott mentioned in our video is culture. So then the round after that would be a kind of a culture team interview um, and really making sure you're connecting with the team. You're going to work well with these individuals that we're going to, um, you know, kind of line you up with on this team. And then from there we make an offer. So it's not, you know, some teams or some organizations have, okay, let's have you meet with these folks and these teams. We're really trying to work on streamlining and, and making sure that we can get the right candidate in the door and fast, you know, we know how competitive it, competitive it is out there. So one thing I would recommend that you're doing is, you know, researching our technologies, researching our organization as well, um, making sure you understand, you know, you don't need to know the staffing industry, like Luke mentioned, like the back of your hand, but just have a good understanding of what we're doing at CHG and then what value you can bring to the organization as well as one thing that I would, a few things that I would recommend. Wow, really, really good. Um, and let's see, uh, we've got another one here say, how did CHG uh, navigate COVID uh, challenges um, to support both business and the people driving the business forward? 
Yeah, great question, Lisa. Um, you know, it's interesting. I remember in March, which is almost a year ago that, you know, I remember telling my team, like, take your laptops home. We don't know what Monday's going to bring. And then they all sent out an emergency alert on Sunday and told us to stay home. And we've been home ever since. So, um, you know, really was really interesting to see the organization pivot as fast as they did, you know, it just felt like under 48 hours, we made the decision, we turned it, we are all working remotely. And a few things that have really enjoyed, I guess not enjoyed, but really kind of speak to our culture and the people we have here is, you know, the pandemic has hit everybody differently. So whether that be, you know, working remotely has been fantastic, I hate working remotely. So one of the things we did back in September is we opened our office on a case by case basis. So if you have slow internet or if you're like, I can't work remotely, we've got people spread out throughout all our offices so that you do have that option. Again, not mandatory. It's completely optional if you need it. Um, that's one thing. We also did an angel tree program. So if you guys are local folks, if you're familiar um, around Christmas time, the, um, we do the angel tree, you can pick that up, but we actually ran it all throughout the year where CHG employees could ask for help anonymously. So whether that be groceries or they need somebody, you know, to pay for groceries, pick up groceries, um, you know, pay for other things. And our CHG employees really stepped up to that. I remember um, I bought somebody groceries uh, that worked in remotely in Nevada. You know, I've had other individuals who bought diapers for a struggling employee and all of those kind of things. So I think that speaks volume for not only the organization for putting that forward, but then for the people that we have on the team to be able to do that for people that we, I may never even interact with this person that I bought these groceries for, but just being able to do that and take care of each other and putting people first, um, that's something that spoke to me. Um, and then we held just a variety of you know Zoom sessions, whether that be people weren't like, I'm struggling doing homework, I'm struggling having my kids at home, like let's all jump on the call together share best practices. Let's just, you know, we're all working together to win together. So those are just a few things, Lisa, if that answers your question about, you know, what the organization did to take care of their employees. They sent us all home with equipment, um, sitting on an office chair that I stole from the, not stole, borrowing from the office, um, using our laptops, all of that kind of stuff. So they've worked really hard and really diligent to make sure we have all of the resources that we need to be home and be successful. Love it. Um, we're coming to the end of our time here, but there are a couple quick questions that, uh, sure. that would be interesting to know. Carol is asking, would a career path from a test engineer to a software engineer can be uh, considered a possible um, uh, route at CHG Healthcare? That's the first one. Absolutely. Yeah. And one of the biggest things I do like about, and I'll make this quick about CHG is that, you know, you're in the driver's seat as an individual contributor, you're in the driver's seat of your conversation and, and kind of driving that. And one of the things that we do is it's people driven and leader guided. Your leader will be there to help you have those conversations, help you kind of guide you to where you need to go. Um, but really, we're going to leave that up to you to kind of drive and put yourself into that um, opportunity and we'll, we're here to help you. So there's a lot of internal programs that we could be able to do, um, but absolutely, you know, the world, uh, there's a lot of opportunity within CHG, making sure you're just, you know, whether that be mentorship from other leaders, mentorship from other engineers, but definitely an opportunity. That's awesome. Um, and then another one um, from Arthur, he, he's saying he's, he's had just one job post college um, okay. who, who should he put down as a reference? Um, so, I mean, probably that, boss, right? But is there anyone else that you would recommend? Um, good, good, good references? Yeah, I think post that one job, you know, anybody from that role that you worked with, but I think, you know, professors that you've worked with, if you did an internship, any contacts there, definitely anything that can kind of speak to your interest, I think, or speak to your experience. I think those are great references from that perspective is what I would recommend. Love it. Um, this is perfect. Um, well, Daniel, we've come to the end of our time here and everyone, yeah. we've come to the end of our time. It's flown by. Um, we're just so grateful, uh, everyone, that you've joined us and Daniel, that you've taken the time to tell us a little bit more about CHG. This has been enlightening and really, really cool to, to hear about a behemoth in the industry just crushing it and uh, and doing so well. So yeah. thank you so much for, for taking the time. Um, like Daniel was mentioning earlier, everybody, the the CHG roles are posted on uh, mentally. And if the, the role that you don't see uh, is, is on there, new roles are posted on the CHG website every day. And so you could probably go into the careers portal and, and see um, some additional roles there, right? 
Absolutely. Yep. We're updating them constantly. So that's a great place. Um, and then we'll keep them up on mentally as well. So highly recommend those two. That's awesome. Um, well, thank you everyone so much for joining. Um, if you want, you can join our next session with Help Cloud. Otherwise, uh, 